Now the phenol chloroform extraction is performed to separate the DNA molecules from the protein molecules. Okay, so at first we have to add the supernatant that contain the intracellular components of the cell. Okay, so we have to add this supernatant containing the intracellular component to the phenol chloroform that is the one one is to one volume of the phenol chloroform mixture. So now we have to centrifuge this mixture and then we get two layers. That is the aqueous layer where the DNA is present and the phenol layer where the protein is present. That is because DNA is hydrophilic. So they prefer to present on the aqueous layer. Okay. And protein and in hydrophobic, hydrophobic phenol layer, proteins try to try to uh, express their hydrophobic regions or hydrophobic residues towards the phenol layer and their native structure is disrupted and they present on the top of the phenol layer like in this position okay so now we have to collect this aqueous layer and we have to perform either alcohol precipitation or either column purification okay so now at first i discuss about the alcohol precipitation okay so at first we have to collect this aqueous layer containing the DNA and add it to the isopropanol of 0.6 volume of the aqueous layer. That means when we add 1 ml of aqueous layer, 1 ml of aqueous layer, then we have to add 0.6 ml of isopropanol. Okay, so now we have to add some salt like sodium acetate and this salt reduce the hydrophilicity of the DNA and then DNA is precipitated out more easily and that because the salt is positively charged so they neutralize the negatively charged DNA so their hydrophilicity is reduced so they precipitate out more easily okay so when we centrifuge this solution the DNA is precipitated out and it is contaminated with some salt okay so now we have to remove this salt from this DNA and that's why we have to add 70% ethanol that is the ice chilled and this chilled condition is required to required to promote the flocculation of the DNA that means they are present in large complex so the DNA is precipitated out more easily okay so now here DNA is precipitated out and the salt come into the ethanol because salt is more soluble in ethanol than in propanol uh, sorry then in isopropanol so we so the salt come into the ethanol and dna is precipitated out and so now we have to evaporate this ethanol then we get only the dna molecule okay so now to store the dna we have to add trace edta buffer to the dna and then we get the dna solution okay 